Hello Fudge fans! It's time for your next big step in space exploration. Set out on a brand new research expedition to Saturn's largest moon Titan. But before we begin, subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss official tips and tricks and exclusive insights about new events, features and changes for Fudge Vampires. Early samples show that Titan is rich in hydrocarbons, a valuable resource that can help facilitate scientific research even further. You are appointed a leader of an expedition set to create the first human colony on Titan and determine its potential. 60 new main story quests, 35 side quests and 15 recurring quests will guide you on the way. Starting a new colony is expensive, therefore the Jupiter Moon colony will no longer be available after you unlock the first Space Age Titan technology. The same goes for the Jupiter Moon excavation sites on the continent map. Luckily, researchers found a way to synthesize all the Space Age Jupiter Moon goods back on Earth. The six new synthesizers will be available after you research the respective technologies. Immediately after researching the first technology, your spaceport will take you to the Titan colony. Here you can build goods buildings to produce the new Titan goods. But first, you need to build residential buildings for the inhabitants of the new colony. You can also construct life support buildings to aid your colonists, making it cheaper for them to produce goods in the goods buildings. And for the first time ever, no roads are required in a Titan colony, thanks to technological progress. To produce goods, you need fuel for your production buildings in the form of Titan special resource, crystallized hydrocarbons. You can mine them in certain provinces on the new continent map. Upon conquering those, you will gain access to excavation sites. To collect your resources, start the excavation process that will cost credits you get from residential buildings and the Titan colony. And don't forget, the new map has two sections. In addition to the new colony buildings, there are also brand new buildings for your city back on Earth. Five new military buildings, one for each unit, two workshop buildings to produce supplies, two residential buildings to increase your population, two cultural buildings and a decoration to increase their happiness, and finally, the new roads to connect these buildings to your town hall. And now, let's get to what you've been waiting for the Great Buildings. With Space Age Titan, we are introducing a trio of powerful space gates. Placed together, they form a beautiful hub in your city. But please mind, this doesn't enhance their bonuses. The Saturn 6 gate Pegasus provides boosts for your defending army and forge points. The Saturn 6 gate Centaurus provides boosts for your attacking army and previous era goods and the Saturn 6 Gate Hydra provides boosts for both your attacking and defending army, as well as goods for your guild treasury. Each one of those buildings brings immense power, but it comes at a cost. For the first time, progressing your building past level 10 will cost coins and Space Age Titan goods, in addition to a full set of blueprints. This age will bring 9 new avatars and a total of 16 new expansions. Two expansions will be available from the technology tree. One on the continent map and one more for medals. And finally, 12 expansions will be available for diamonds. Are you ready to take the next leap in humankind's exploration of the solar system? Let us know what you think about the Space Age Titan in the comments below the video. See you soon!